before wind turbines all across Indiana. But some Hoosiers say the state needs to regulate how and where companies can build them. Indiana State House Bureau Chief Eric Feldman went to a hearing examining the issue at the State House. He's here now to explain why there's been some mounting frustration, Eric. Yeah, Dave, for more than three hours, lawmakers heard testimony from at least a dozen people. Some argued why wind turbines negatively impact communities, but others said not only are they environmentally friendly, but they're an economic jump starter, too. Thousands of turbines spinning hundreds of feet in the air around Indiana. The lights at night are so pretty, they look like uh, New York City. Others call them eyesores, but some say wind energy could be vital. Indiana in the United States is approaching an energy shortage. Therefore, wind energy will be needed to help make up the nation's needs. The big question, does Indiana need more regulation on where they can pop up? There's debate whether the turbines impact property values and whether they can help jumpstart economies. In Benton County, we would not have paramedics today were it not for windmills. We have money coming for the next 25 years. But communities have different regulations on the turbines' distance from other property owners. The issue emotional for some. Your constituents trust and rely upon you to ensure the constitutional rights of all of the people. Some property owners say they want more notice about turbine construction plans. A project that really started years prior will be voted on in 10 business days. Wind experts say that's not true. Hoosiers and lawmakers gathered inside the Senate chambers Thursday morning because a bill that failed last session called for more regulation on building wind turbines. Tried to provide some guidance for counties with and without local zoning. Gave some guidance on uh, disclosures, how that disclosure had to take place. A bill that could come up again in January. The committee will meet again later this month and eventually make recommendations to the full legislature about any bills to consider. Eric Feldman, 24-Hour News 8.